everyone, John here with another Monster Hunter video. So today I wanted to talk about some footage that came out of Paris Game Week. It was actually a live stream. So if you guys wanted to see the, the actual live stream, there's a link in the description down below to the original stream. It's actually pretty long and it goes over some stuff we already know. But I wanted to talk about the stuff that we didn't actually know. Which is a lot of details about the Rotten Veil, which in this video you're going to see stuff of the new monsters fighting. Some new details that came out about the new monsters and small things I noticed in the stream. So let's get to it. First off, the hunter is actually using some cool looking gear. Um, I actually didn't notice this before, but at a second glancing, he's actually using what it looks like to be a Rathio Sword and Shield. And I haven't actually seen Rathio Sword and Shield look this cool in a long time. It He's also using Raytheon armor, but the Sword and Shield look really awesome. But he's fighting against the Red Redban, Redban. Uh, it's basically the Aragon's little brother, except much scarier looking and honestly cooler if you ask me. But I noticed some stuff uh, about the Sword and Shield that I didn't notice before. Here, you actually see him block an attack, and in other Monster Hunter games, the block animate, the block animation, and like you know how much stamina you consume when you block is a lot. Like you usually get knocked back pretty far, and in this one you don't get knocked back all that much. Remember, I have only been playing Monster to Portable 3rd, uh, Try, and Freedom Unite. I've played a little bit of the 3DS games, but I've never used the Sword and Shield 3DS games. So, I don't know if this is new to Monster the World. I don't know if they made the Sword and Shield more viable in the other games. But, in this one, it makes the Sword and Shield seem a lot better than in the other ones. You also get to see him actually mount the monster. And while he's mounting the monster, he actually... Punches the shield into the Radaban's face and then proceeds to stab it in the face with the sword. And I don't know, something about this looks so damn cool. And I was really excited when I saw this. Um, I just like the idea that the shield can actually cause impact damage too. And there's a lot of combos that seem to kind of coincide with smacking the monster with the shield. And I really like that. Later on in the stream, you actually get to see the great Juros. I think I'm saying that right. God, please tell me I'm saying it right. Fight the Radaban. And this thing actually does something that I've never seen before in Monster Hunter. And it makes me actually really happy to see this kind of stuff. But you get to see the Radaban, the Radaban actually get paralyzed. And possibly poisoned by the great Juras. Well, I see possibly for the poison because I can't tell if he actually poisoned him. I know he definitely paralyzed him. But judging from how... It responded. I don't know if this means monsters can now freeze each other, put each other to sleep, burn each other. I don't know. I hope they can. That'd be really cool. It makes making monsters fight each other more viable to uh, win. But as you can see right here, the Radaban is actually bubbling poison foam out of its mouth. And, and this is the new way you can tell if monsters are poisoned now. They start foaming at the mouth, purple, nasty, bubbly goop. And I couldn't tell... I looked over the footage a couple times, but I couldn't tell if he got poisoned from the area. And I really couldn't find any other reason for him to be poisoned other than if the great Jeros actually poisoned him. So that makes the great Jeros a little more terrifying if it can paralyze you and apply poison. Again, this is not confirmed, but I think it does. So that could be a problem for fighting this thing if it paralyzes you and poisons you at the same time. Again, I don't know if it's... Uh, confirmed, but it seems to do that. You also get to see the hunter trap the Redaban in some uh, area traps where the vines fall on top of it and it can't move out of the way. I also just really like the full body design of the Redaban too. Just the spikes and everything on top of it look really, really cool. And I was right, by the way, of, uh, about the Redaban actually getting bones and stuff covered in his body while, while it rolls around. Similar to the Baroth, and it actually, you can see parts of it falling off while it fights you. Which is just the bone fragments and stuff. I don't know if those giant horns on its sides can come off yet, I haven't seen that. But probably. Later on in the stream, you actually get to see a dead Leganium on the floor, and you actually get a free card from it. Now, I don't know if this corpse will change randomly, maybe it'll move around the map, I don't know if the... This, it's always a Leganium. Maybe it could be, I don't know, Raphael's corpse at some point. I have, I have no idea. I'm just throwing random thoughts out there. I don't know if it's in the same spot all the time. I don't know if it's different monsters. No idea. 
but I do like how you can actually find giant corpses laying around this place. It kind of makes it look more dire and just creepy. And this makes this level a lot cooler in a way. You can think of also check out this really gross fog stuff that I was talking about in the previous video. And it does actually bring down your HP if you're fighting in this area. You get to actually see it slowly go down. It's similar to when your body is overheated in Monster Hunter and your HP slowly starts dwindling from just the heat. It's not too bad, but it's pretty noticeable. Uh, there is actually a way to make this fog go away by shooting what it looks like to be fire seeds, I think. At the fog, it disperses it slowly, so you can just keep shooting it and disperses all the fog around you. So that's handy. Lastly, my favorite out of all three of the announced monsters, the Autogram. I God damn it, I hate these names. The Autogram is... It just does not give a fuck. This thing... It, it, details have come out about it, about how this monster is a hyper-aggressive monster and will fight anything. It doesn't care how big it is. It does not give a fuck. And while you're watching this thing fight the Uragon, it's pretty obvious that it just does not give a fuck. It fucks it up pretty badly, too. And watching it fight, it kind of freaks me out because I really want to fight this thing myself, but I'm scared I'm going to die from it. It could be this generation Devil Joe, I guess you could say. But... I can't really tell right now. I don't know if this thing's even a high tier monster or a low tier monster either. But judging by how badly it's wrecking shit, it might be a mid to high tier monster? Not sure. But I really love its design and I really, really want to fight it. But that's really basically everything I want to talk about today. Uh, again, if you want to see the full stream, there is a link in the description down below. Also, you can check the comments. Hopefully, I'll leave a link down there too. And if I missed anything, please let me know in the comments. to hit me up. And if you guys want to see more monsters or now, we actually have a few uh, playlists for you. We have my top fives and details on Monster Hunter playlist you guys can check out. You can check in the upper right corner of the little card thing that pops up from YouTube. You can also click on the links in the description, comments, or the outro links you'll see in a couple seconds to the right of the video. Uh, I'll leave uh, one of my playlists where it's just me and my friends playing Portable 3rd there. Or if you want to check out something similar to Monster Hunter but not quite exactly the same, you can also check out my full Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen pl uh, playthrough on PS4. It's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!